Hey guys, it's Tasha. I was surfing YouTube and I came across a channel, Pink Poodle Crafts, and she was doing these really, really pretty embellishments. So I tried to try my hand at it, and this is what I came up with. This is this one says always. This one says laugh. This one is believe. This one is beauty. And this one is love. And so what I want to do is show you guys how I did mine. I tried my best to follow her instructions. So I'm going to do it with you guys. And it's really easy. But <clears throat> this was the first one. And so the more I did it, the more busy and the more layered mine got. So bear with me, okay? So I'm going to do this and hopefully... I won't take too long but what I'm gonna do too is link her video in the description bar or the description box and then you guys can watch her video because she gives really really uh, detailed instructions okay I'll be right back okay to start off I went and just found some stuff I got some scraps from blush glam stack I did a mini album a while ago and I had these scraps left over so I want to use that paper uh, from that collection because they all go together and I'm not real good at doing the color thing and matching stuff uh, so I got those I got some ribbon for some layer for, for some additional layering some rickrack here for some additional layering I got this ribbon too I got these from Michaels. These beads, word beads. So I got those. I pulled out this trim. I got this from Etsy a while ago. I got these little, I call them dew drops, but they're, they are vase filler that you get at Michaels. And I picked out some, a few flowers. That's just in the way. Picked out a few flowers and some leaves, and I put some butterflies here, and got some vellum sheets as well. My scissors, more scraps. Got my hot glue gun all set up and ready. Can you see it back there? Yeah, there it is. Hot glue gun ready to go, and we're gonna start. First thing I did was cut some strips about, I think about three inches long. And let me turn that down. Hold on. I have my grandson in here. And he's actually sleeping now. But he was watching Batman. Okay. So I have some strips here about three inches long. Actually they're going to be some longer. Some shorter. Um, from the collection. I'm going to cut the little fish tails in these so let me see and they don't have to be perfect because mine never are so I just cut a supposedly in the middle which mine's still in the middle and then I go from the corners to like that that's how I cut mine I wish there was a way to just cut these little things no matter what size somebody didn't invent a punch that just cuts those I don't even know how that would even work, but that would be cool. So let me get this in. And you hear all the other noise too, those are grands. They in the front. Supposed to be watching a movie. And they in there keeping up all this extra noise. So let me do this. Okay, let, let me do one more. Let me do this one. And then my understanding is if you watch her video, she says to make your base out of the papers that you don't really, you know, that you are less impressed with. 
and the and whatever you're going to use. So the papers that you like the least um, should be the base. So for me, it'll be these two sheets right here. And then the third one is another one that I don't particularly care for. I mean, it's it's okay. It's and I'm going to put that one right there. And this this is going to form the base of my embellishment. Now, you know what? I don't feel I can't. I don't see my glue. Hold on. All right. I had to grab my glue, so I got this tumble aqua liquid glue. So this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to take this, I'll take the wide side. This is my first time using this glue, as a matter of fact. And it's pretty decent. So I'm just going to put it on here. You're supposed to squeeze it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I'm going to put these two pieces together like this. And there we go. So this is this is the base of our embellishment. So now I'm going to let's see. I'm gonna cut this off here. Let's see. I'm gonna give it a little bit of length because I may change my mind shortly. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more up under here. Just for some stability. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to take these pieces and just kind of see how I like them. Let me see where do I want. Because I know I want to put in a vellum piece. Let's see, and I want some ribbon. Let's try to eyeball this a little bit. And my scissors are not that sharp at all. So, <laughs> I can know why, because I've been cutting the stems off those flowers with them. Let's see. Let me do it this way. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's this way. Okay. Okay, so we got that layer going on. Let's see. I'll put a piece of gold. I wish it wasn't this yellowy gold. I wish it was more of a, you know, the, the gold that's in the paper, but it'll work. I need a piece of that. And let me see. Let me grab a piece of this other one just in case. I may use it to. Why not? I think I'm actually overdoing the layers. But, hey, I like it. So, let's see. Got this here. I'm going to put this piece here. And I actually want some of these to kind of hang off like this. Even like this little piece right here that I'm going to cut up some more. Then might as well go ahead on and do it now. Okay, here we go. I see I'll probably wind up doing some, doing one of those numbers. Let me see what it's like so I'm just gonna work with it until I find some way that I like this to look okay be right back okay this is how I settled on 
this is what I set it on for my layers to look like. So I have my base piece, which is the which are those three pieces there, and then I layered on the ribbon, and then another piece from the collection, some vellum, this trim here, this rick rack, and the last piece will be um, this flag here. This is just a cream color cardstock that matched the paper collection and I'm going to use this scallop circle with some gold accents in it. So let's get that on. I think I'm going to have the gold at the top. Cut that little fringe looking off right there if I can. I said it ain't got to be perfect, so and there. And look, shorten this some. Okay, I think that's good. Let me find a word tile that I want to use here. Let's see. So, do I have. What, do, what don't I have? That's the question. Mm. Do I have Dream over here already? No, I don't have Dream. So, I'm going to use this word, word towel with Dream on it. So, put it here close to the the tail end and on this side and I'm using the hot glue to sort of go ahead on in it here not because I don't like the tum tumble it's just this will go ahead on in it here and it'll be there there we go and I actually may take that rick rack out so I'm not really digging the way that's looking but I don't got used to it being there. I don't know. I'll see. Because I may be able to just cover it up with one of these flowers. <clears throat> Let's see. And I may just use one flower. Let me see. Get some more greenery going on in here. I don't think I just use one flower. Give me just a second. Let me twist this up. And I'll be right back. Okay, I put the little extra greenery on and I'm just gonna put some hot glue back here and I'm gonna stick this close to the bottom down here where this where this gold rick rack is because I don't like the gold rick rack so I'm gonna bring more attention to it for myself smart Tasha but it's okay I'm actually starting to like it a little bit better now and do I want to put any of the little dew drops on here? I got some butterflies, but I just don't. Where would I put it? Where where would the butterfly go? Like right here? Let's try that. Just because. Why not? So I'll just stick that right there. Just because, like I said. Mm 
I think it could have done without it, but what the heck. It's mine. I don't care. What do you think? Yes or no? Oh, I'm going to put them on. Just because. And I'm sure it's overkill. But hey, I like the overkill. Uh, rub my fingers. It's all good. I hate the first. Most definitely won't be the last. Get the, if I can get it off, so I can get started with the last one. Okay, here we go. Now, hopefully I'm finished. And I won't try to put anything else on this. Won't layer another thing on it. But here it is. My completed embellishment. With about 100 layers. But it's okay. Like I said, I like it. I got the dew drops. I got the trim here. I got vellum, ribbon, Rick rack flowers, vellum butterfly, dream, dream, um, alphabet. I don't even know if you got a word bead. And here you go. My embellishments. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.